Bienvenidos amigos to another Elementor tutorial. Before we create our single post template, our lessons page, let us first clarify what exactly is a single post template. You can see here on the left side the front end of our lessons page and on the right side you can see the WordPress editor, the back end from the lessons page. So the single post template is using dynamic widgets to display the content based on a specific post. For example, the post info widget is used to display the taxonomies of our post like category or tags. The post title widget is of course obviously used to display the title of the post. Then we have the except, the post except and the post content. This is the content area. It doesn't matter if you create your content with Elementor or with the WordPress standard editor like Gutenberg or the classic editor. This will be your content area and the widget post content will display everything which is inside the Elementor editor or the WordPress editor. By the way, we will create a website for a yoga teacher, so uh, the content uh, will be a different one, not this one here. But this is just to show you an example of a single post template in general. We have also the possibilities to include a custom field or custom fields into our posts. This is also something that we will see later on. We will add a custom field for the duration of our lessons video. So this will be a custom field with which we will create with the out of the box WordPress functionality. We will not use any additional plugins for this. Of course, we want to uh, display this also in the front end. So we will see how we can achieve this. And there are also further dynamic widgets like the featured image widget, but we will not use this one for our lessons page. So this is basically the content of a single post template. I hope uh, this makes sense. And we will use this single post template to display all of our lessons. And let us create our first single post template. So we have already seen our lessons page. Let's create this lessons page. As I already said, this one will be a single post template. So we will create our first single post template in Elementor. Let's go back to our test site and let's go to templates, theme builder, single post and let's create our new single post template. So right now we are also here under blocks and we have the category um, single post selected. We have to search again for our online course uh, Elementor template kit and we will see here two different templates, single post templates one for the lessons page and one for the last lesson because uh, there it is a complete course button. So we will take this one here, the lessons page and just click on insert. So this is our lessons page. We cannot see m much here because um, it automatically uh, pulls the content from the hello world post. We can change this. Uh, we can preview another uh, post here. Ah, but we haven't created any uh, lessons yet, so mm, we cannot change it now. Okay, we have to first create our lessons and then we will see the content um, here on this page. But for now, let's just click publish. And here you can see the button from the previous uh, lessons, uh, which triggers the pop up with the contact form. But for now, let's click publish, add condition. All singular would apply to posts and pages. We just want um, this to be pages, uh, to post. Uh, we want to apply this to uh, our posts. So let's click post for now. We can change this later on. But for now, let's apply this single post template only for our posts. 
save and close and that's it we don't have to do anything else we can preview the page and we will see the hello world sample uh, post there's no featured image there's no except there is a content here so this is the um, post content but nothing else our lessons page currently looks like this and it doesn't really look so good so let's change this As a small reminder, we used a single post template to create our lessons page. Let us just add our first lesson and see how the design will change. We will not use any additional post types for our lessons. We will just use the integrated post types posts. We will try to use in this course as far as possible out of the box functionality of WordPress so we will not use any additional plugins to create a new post type for our lessons we will just add our lessons to the post type posts so let us create a new lesson here we will call it intro to yin yoga and then we will just use the Gutenberg editor in this case to add our content Let's add a block. We will use a video block, a YouTube link, and here we can paste a YouTube link. Let's take one, this one for example, embed. Okay, now we have our video. We can write a caption if we want, or we can add another uh, block to our content and just uh, describe what this video is about or what this lesson is about so we have our content we have the title we don't need any featured image and we will just hit publish now and and let's see how the post looks like we will open it in a new tab and as you can see it looks much better now we have our video we have our text our content we have the navigation but still there are some things missing here we have the categories here and the title and here we have an empty block so let's see what content is inside this white content block let's go back to the single post template let's refresh this page and as you can see we can see here our lesson that we just added to our wordpress posts and we can see here we have the terms which are the categories uh, we have the title and um, then here is something missing yeah if i click on it you will see edit heading but it's a dynamic field it's a lesson number so we will add this in a minute we will add a dynamic field here then if we go on let's click on this block here and this one is edit post info custom so we have another custom field here it's a duration so we can add the duration here and we have here an except so post except so this is also something that we can add to our lesson okay so let's let's do this first of all we need two dynamic fields so you could use this great plugin here advanced custom fields which is a really great plugin uh, you can see it uh, very well rated and um, it helps you to add additional custom fields advanced custom fields to your post types there are a lot of great functionality in inside the free version of this plugin so i really recommend it but we will uh, as i said we will try to use as far as possible out of the box wordpress functionality and custom fields are also already integrated into wordpress so we will not use any additional plugins here we will just add the dynamic fields with the wordpress functionality so let's go back to our post this is our post and now we want to add custom fields to our post so first of all we have to display the custom fields so you can click here on this three dots to open up the options and then we just need to activate the custom fields option 
that's activated. Page reload is required for this change. Okay, enable and reload. And now you can see below the WordPress editor, you can see this new meta box called custom fields. Depending on which theme you are using, you will already find here some custom fields. This one is uh, are added by the Astra theme and you can add your own custom fields to your content. That's what we're gonna do right now. We will add another custom field. So click on enter new and then you should give it a name. Uh, we will call it duration and then we can set the value for this custom field named duration. We will set the value. Value is we will call it video 10 minutes. Okay great and if you remember there was a second dynamic field let's go back to this single post type and it was here post custom field lesson number so let's create another one with lesson number uh, add custom field so then let's add another one so the name should be lesson number and here we can say just lesson one add custom field so we have just added two custom fields, one duration and another one lesson number. And uh, one thing is also missing. If you see here, we have a, a widget here called text editor, but this text editor uses also dynamic content, which is post excerpt. So this is also already integrated in WordPress. We don't have to use any additional plugins here we go here to accept and then we can write a small a short summary and we click on update let's check out our new lessons page refresh okay we see the accept we can see the content like before but we don't see the dynamic fields this is why we have to select them in the single post template first before we can see it. So let's click here also on refresh. And then we have to select the dynamic fields. The This one here is the duration. So we just click on this field again. And then we can set uh, the duration. This is the key. And you can see here duration video 10 minutes. We can also control what uh, should be in the front of this value. So here it says duration, which is good. Yeah, we can leave it as it is. Duration, video 10 minutes, great. And then we have a second dynamic field, which is this one over here. Here we should also click on this uh, field again, choose the key, which is lesson number, and then we will see lesson one. Wonderful, you can add something before, after, but we will not use this option here and click on update. So let's see the front end of our lessons page now. Refresh and you can see we have here lesson one, which is dynamic, duration is dynamic, accept is dynamic, our content is dynamic, perfect. Our lessons page looks much better now.